The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. Good afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I will celebrate this Mass for the health of Alice Graham. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elisha came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. But the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael as king of Aram. You shall anoint Jehu son of Nishai as king of Israel. And Elijah, son of Shaphat, of Abdel Mahola, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I long, long to see your face, O Lord. I, I long, long to, to see, see your, your face, face, O Lord. Lord. O hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks. You my glance seeks. I long to see your face, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. I long to see your face, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I, I long, long to see your, your face, O oh Lord. Oh, As you hold on to the 
Lord of Life. Alleluia. Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members then to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, Whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing because it is last, you know, Sunday, uh, Friday Mass that we have Kevin who is before ordination. So today, if I will remember, of course, not like two days ago, we will have reflection after the communion. And uh, just I would like to. You know, remind you that this coming Sunday, Kevin will be ordained for a permanent deacon. So please pray for him and John and his wife. And so next week, when Kevin will be for the Mass, you will see that he will look differently because he will wear, you know, the Dalmatica. So, you know, deacon's vestment. So I cannot wait. <laughs> Let us now unite in prayer and offer our petitions to Heavenly Father. That the Church, in the power of the Spirit, may make the Gospel understandable to people of every race, language, and culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Holy Spirit of peace may unite and reconcile the peoples and the nations of the earth, bringing an end to war, hatred and discrimination, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life, may renew the face of the earth and make it a place where the poor are fed, the strangers are welcomed, and the unborn and brought safely to birth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That each baptized Christian may develop more fully his or her response to all of the gifts which the Spirit bestows for the service of the body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, especially Alice Graham, may experience the presence and healing power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers and save us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Mercy be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for of your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and with contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that the word we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he entered his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, the God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thou the Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and your resurrection, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Peter, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all of glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and a safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the heaven of their sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the grand grand seeds. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come and lay spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. 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 The body of the body of Christ. 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 The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing word, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I feel that now Kevin is looking at me, because last Wednesday I forgot about reflection, you know, so after the blessing, Kevin told me, so please have a seat now and have reflection. Today's gospel talked about adultery. In, in John's gospel, the Pharisees brought a woman accused of adultery. As the story grows, the Pharisees 
asked Jesus what kind of punishment adultery was. Jesus said, stone him. Then he said, let the, then he said, told the crowd, let the first man cast, who has no sin, cast the first stone. And they all left. If you read into it, the older folks were left first and so they disappeared. Then what did Jesus say to the woman? Go out and sin no more. And we go back to Genesis. Why did Adam hide? And you have the, uh, what's, that's what God's question to Adam was. What did, Adam, what, what did Adam's answer to God was? I was naked and was ashamed. This is where you have the, the start of the division between man and woman. The fall, and the fall was the way God wanted man and woman to love. Now the question is, what is the opposite of love? Does anybody know? Any answers? Hate. No, not hate. It's use. You have the, uh, you have the, uh, you have the uh, basically the saying when I was growing up it says, uh, "Man gives love for sex, woman gives sex for love." Basically, they're using each other. You have the Sumerian woman. Jesus shows how messed up the relationship between man and woman women are in this account. You, know, you, you, you think about that. It says, Jesus, uh, Moses also knew how the relationship was messed up. That's why he allowed divorce. In scripture today, you it talks about lust. If you have an eye that causes you to sin, tear it out. It's better to live with one eye than go to Gehenna. Abashis is talking about one another. The use of, of another is for the advancement. Your advancement is sin, not only from the marriage, but in friendship. Something to think about. If a friendship is based on using the other person, it will not last. At the end of the reading today, Jesus asked, unless Jesus is useless um, marriage uh, marriage has a has a flaw and a cup the, before the couple the, okay uh, let me get it. It says he says if the marriage has a flaw before the couple gets married you know that's the only reason for you can um, divorce it says but if you're married you're bound for life that's something to think about The Lord will be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has climbed lives and has affected men. We pray for your grace, for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need.
Grande, strong, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And the Dovo Prince of the Heaven, the Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who crawl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. I have one very important announcement. And uh, I will announce, you know, this coming weekend also. But from this coming Monday, which is June 15, in our parish, you know, on Mondays will be no the Mass. So no 12th Mass on Mondays. And, uh, you know, I will explain more, you know, why, but also I will tell you why right now. Almost 11 weeks, I had no day off. And in our parish, you know, we have this situation, we were blessed that, you know, Father Andrew always was with us, or we had other priests. Father Andrew soon will start to celebrate again Masses, but, you know, also with his age, I don't want that he will feel that, you know, we are asking him for too much. He's not just 21 years old, you know, a little older. And uh, so next week, Father Andrew will celebrate the Mass on Tuesday, and I believe that if he will feel now comfortable, every Tuesday he will celebrate the Masses. But, you know, now with my sickness, with my being, you know, in the hospital, I really need to have rest, you know. And then usually the parish, you know, when the priest has the off, has no mass. And it will be something new in our parish, and I know that some people will be, let's just tell, not satisfied, you know, but uh, I need to care, you know, more about my health too. And uh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so just please remember that from this Monday, Mondays, we have no Mass. But the church is open, people, you know, maybe will talk, you know, will come to pray for the Rosary, so it's good to come. And usually, not yet, but uh, every Monday the Mass is at the monastery, 7 a.m. Not yet, because now the Mass is just for sisters, it's not for public. But I know that when more regular life will come back, I know that again the sisters will have the Mass. So it is nothing that people, you know, have no opportunity to participate for the Mass. You know, so thank you so much for your understanding. If someone would like to talk to me about it, you know where I am. Have a blessed day. Thank you.